anywhere that there is little to no internet, you can access AI. You can access it for free. And yes, if you're on that airplane and you want to talk to an AI model for whatever the context may be, you don't have to pay Alaska Airlines that $8 anymore. I don't want to pay eight bucks. We can run it locally on our machine. We installed Llama 3.1 AB earlier in this video. I can click it and we can get going. Let's learn how we can install any AI model we want locally on our machine, giving us privacy, completely free access, and everything we would want to do with artificial intelligence. By the end of this video, you're going to be able to talk to any AI model you want in a chat GBT like interface with no internet for free. Let's find out how to do it. The AI model I'm going to go ahead and showcase this with is going to be Llama 3.140B. This is going to be the most comprehensive local model that currently exists on the market. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to access every single AI model that can possibly be downloaded to your local machine. And when I say local machine, I'm just talking about your laptop or your desktop. Let's find out how to do it. We're going to do a step by step tutorial here. Let's start with step one. I'm gonna make sure I leave a link in the description down below. It's gonna be like step one to the five. Step one is gonna be going to olama.com. This is gonna allow us to download said models that we care about and start using them locally in our machine. Now, don't worry. This isn't just a Windows thing or a Mac thing. This is a Mac, Linux, and Windows thing. So if you have any of those type of OS systems, you're gonna go with this tutorial. Let's download. Click download. Once you click download, you're gonna have the ability to choose Mac OS, Linux, Windows. Currently, I'm running on a Mac, so I'm gonna hit download for Mac OS. You'll be prompted on where you wanna install it. So for now, I'm just gonna install it to my desktop and hit save. With that zip file, I went ahead and opened it and we got Olama here, just double click. We're gonna go ahead and say open, move to applications. Perfect, once we have it moved to applications, we have it open, we're gonna hit next here. We just have to do one thing, hit install. When you get that, you're gonna get this command line here. So all you have to do is this, and I'm gonna leave this in the description down below, copy. Now on Mac or Windows, you're gonna simply put in terminal, hit open, once it's open, Simply paste that line that we just got there and hit enter. No, this is not hacking your computer. No, we're not tapping into the matrix. This is downloading the model. Once this is fully downloaded, I will real quickly show you how to install different types of models here. But we're gonna make sure that we can get to the end point here that I guaranteed, did you guarantee a corporate? I guaranteed we're gonna get a chat GBT like user interface, access it locally and proceed. Let it download. Keep in mind, because this is being locally installed, this will take up hard drive space. So in this context, it looks like it's taking around 4.7 gigabytes. This will make more sense for other models and you'll see how large it can actually get. Now, once you've installed it, you can actually start talking to it right away in the terminal. So for example, what is your favorite pizza? Hit enter and there we go. I don't have a personal preference or taste buds, but I can suggest some popular pizza combinations and it goes in that manner. So we're gonna take this kind of interaction, make sure we push it to a more friendly UI but for now, you've successfully installed an AI model locally on your machine. Pretty cool, right? This is the future. Now to get out of this conversation real quick, you can either terminate the window by hitting this X here, hit terminate, or alternatively hit control C. Actually, the command is different. That's the command I use when using Firebase emulator. It looks like this one is gonna be control D slash or slash by, control D, control D, Avita Zen. Okay, bye bye Llama. Let's find out more stuff. Coming back to Olama here, we can go up to models here and let's learn a little bit more about what we can do and the sizing, what kind of hardware you need, et cetera. So I'm gonna hit Llama 3.1 here. As a quick side note, everything you've seen up to this point is completely free. Like to talk to this AI model locally on your machine with no internet, free, free, and free. First thing to identify here, if we hit this little drop down here, we can see the underlying sizes associated with each type of model. As a rule of thumb, the smaller the model, the more likely it'll work effectively on your laptop slash desktop. Therefore, keep in mind here, if we go up to the most comprehensive AI local model we can install on our machine, that's gonna be the size of 231 gigabytes. Now, I know some of y'all are like, oh, that's light work because I have to install Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which is basically 50% of my PS5. I get it. I think we all get it. I don't know what COD's doing right now. But in this context, this is how we install it. So in theory, if I wanted to install 405B, I'd click this and we would run this terminal command. Let's go and install a smaller size here though. To do so, I'm gonna hit 8B here. With 8B, I'm gonna copy this terminal command. Same situation, y'all. Terminal again. I'm gonna go ahead and just restart it again. So anytime you get scared, you're like, I don't know if this is going down the wrong route here, Corbin. I don't know what I'm doing in terminal. Don't worry, just open a new window. Paste that line in and hit enter. This is now going to download the 8B model. And same situation here, can ask to get some messages and proceed or hit slash buy, Avita Zen. Now, as I said before, there is other models we can deal with here. So in theory, come back to models. I could go over to Gemma 2, which is from Google here, and I could run this command to install this AI model locally on my machine. Same deal of sizing, 4.5 gigs for 9B, 16 gigs for 27B, 
and so on. You can scroll down here, see what model you like, but for now, let's go ahead and see how we can transition this into a friendlier UI, because who wants to talk in terminal? This is not the matrix. I'm not Neo. I'm not trying to hack anything. Get me out of the terminal. Before we do that, because I did say this, let me show you how powerful of a machine you need in order to run 4LB, which is like the largest AI local model up to this point. I didn't do this to kill anyone's dreams of running a super high functional AI model on their machine, but here's the situation with hardware. When it comes to the 8B model, you're looking at around 32 gigs of RAM, but I would say just try it out. This is a one size fit all solution where this would be your most optimal choice to see if this kind of tech could even work on your hardware. Now, when we go up the ladder here, this is where it gets a little bit more crazy with the 70B model looking at around 256 gigabytes of RAM. Now with the 256 gigabytes of RAM, we could probably try 128. It probably would still work in that context. But when we get to the 40B model, this is very much like, you need a monster. You need a beast of a machine to run the 4LB model locally on your machine. One terabyte of RAM is probably excessive coming from ChatGPT here. I would say at least half of that. But keep in mind, that is why this thing is huge. This thing is like 200 gigs. Take a screenshot right there if you want some recommendations from ChatGPT when it comes to running these types of models. Let's get back to the video. All right, Corbin, stop rambling about the model sizes, the different models you could use. Like, tell me how to use this so I don't have to type in terminal. I got you. Go to docker.com, description down below. This can work on Linux, Windows, and Mac. Once you installed it, go ahead and drag it to your applications. Once you dragged it to your applications, go ahead and open it. So we can either sign up or continue without signing in. So for now, we'll just continue without signing in. We're gonna go ahead and skip this survey. No, no, I don't wanna take the survey. Keep in mind, when you order from like McDonald's, you send a package to UPS, sometimes there will be a little bit of like a, take this survey, you can win $500 gift card. Do you wanna take it? Do you not? $500 worth of McDonald's, which probably wouldn't buy you that much anymore because there's no more dollar menu. Now that we have this open, which is going to allow us to basically start and stop the process of running an AI model locally on our machine, the way I can translate that to you is like how we were doing in terminal, the slash by or the control D, same deal here, but friendlier UI. Now this right here is the last step. Don't worry. This is the last step when it comes to looking at it through a better user interface. We're going to say open web UI. Now this opened up GitHub, but don't worry. We're not going to start coding here. If you're interested in that and you want to see how to build out an entire website for free, Never pay a dime again to shop off my Webflow. I have a whole playlist on my channel. You can check it out. We're going to come down here, though. From here, simply scroll down. Scroll down. And we're going to go ahead and just run this command. The reason we're doing this command is because of the fact that we already have Olama. You've already walked through that process with me. So all we have to do together is hit copy. Now, in terminal, all we have to do is hit paste. Command V and hit enter. Let it download. What is it installing, Corbin? Is this a virus? No? No, this is not a virus. Don't worry. Don't worry. The only reason I say that is I did a video showing you how to install the ChatGPT desktop app and holy smokes, the amount of people in those comments being like, oh, this is a scam, this is fake. It wasn't fake. It was literally the DMG from OpenAI. Side note, once it is done, go back to Docker and look what we just found, y'all. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, here's what's cool. We know it's running when it says the status is running. We know we can stop it by hitting stop. So we can stop this from taking up CPU usage within our computer, but let's see how we can actually start using it. If you're familiar with development, you will be aware of this ports and what it really means. So for us, this is gonna allow us to run this on a web page, but a local web page that has no access to the internet. So we're gonna click it. The good old local host 3000. To get going here, we're gonna go ahead and sign up. Once you signed up, and yes, it's free, don't worry. It's free, we can get going here. The first thing I want you to notice is that it says local host 3000 which means this is running purely on our computer right now. This is local. Everything we say within this chat is on our computer. If you don't believe me, type in that URL on your browser right now, and you will see that this web page does not exist because you need to run it on your machine. From here though, select model, and there we go. We installed Llama 3.1 AB earlier in this video. I can click it and we can get going. What's better, cats or dogs? Ultimately, whether cats or dogs are better is a matter of personal preference. Okay, okay, I got it. Take the easy answer out. But what we can do now is super cool. Think about it. Anywhere that there is little to no internet, you can access AI. You can access it for free. And yes, if you're on that airplane and you want to talk to an AI model for whatever the context may be, you don't have to pay Alaska Airlines that $8 anymore. I don't want to pay eight bucks. We can run it locally on our machine. Now, once you're done using it and you want to use it maybe another time, I would suggest you go ahead and stop it. And then if you ever want to run this locally on your machine again, simply hit start. That is it, y'all. No cost, privacy, no Wi-Fi. Now you don't have to pay that $8 on that airline again and so on. So all I ask you to do is leave a like if you found value in today's video. It's completely free and I'll see you in the next video. Check out these two videos. I have no clue what they are, 
You have no clue, Corbin? Yeah, I have no clue. This is based off the algo. Is the algo doing good today? I like that one down there. That one down there seems pretty cool. I'll see you in the next video.